Hello everybody, welcome back to Matty's house and today we're starting another week of doing a diet. So this time around we're going to be doing a week of eating nothing but as the smart price. Um, as you saw last time I did a week as a vegan which was interesting. Um, if you haven't watched those videos, there'll be a link to the playlist in the description below or there'll probably be one of those card things appearing on the top of your screen at the minute. But uh, this time around, we're doing as the smart price. So for this one, there's really only two rules um, which I'll elaborate on. First rule is we have to eat nothing but as the smart price and drink anything but as the smart price. So if it's not in the as the smart price range, we don't eat it, we don't drink it. Uh, no exceptions, no exceptions whatsoever. Rule number two is that I'm going to be sticking to the recommended dietary allowance for an adult, which is lots of different things. The most important one is that it's a maximum of 2,000 calories a day. Um, a lot of people think it's 2,500 for like, a man and 2,000 for a woman, which isn't really true. Um, 2,000 for anybody is really the, the actual recommended allowance. Obviously it can vary for different people depending on height and stuff like that, but if you're gonna pick an average number, it's 2,000 calories. And then there's other things like um, how much saturated fat you can have, how much sugar you can have, how much normal fat you can have and stuff like that. But I'll put a wee graphic across the screen just now that shows you all the numbers and those are going to be the numbers that I'm going to be sticking to with this. For now though, let's go back in time to when I placed my ASDA order so you can see how that went and a little about my last meal as well. So over to you, past Matty. Thanks present day Matty. So we're just on the ASDA website just now. That's our shopping list, but I won't show you all of that just now. Um, just going to order all the stuff we need for the ASDA Smart Price Week. I'm going to be starting off by adding on some ASDA Smart Price Six Fruit Fromage Fraise. Boom. Lovely jubbly. 45p, top quality gear right there. That's my last supper. A nice sweet chippy, a sausage supper there. I'm not going to be able to have anything like that this week because it's all going to be probably frozen shit. So I am looking forward to it. I want to see what it's going to be like. So, All right, that's our total for all our Asda Smart Price stuff. So that's £37.91 for the week, which is not bad. It's not bad. I suspect I'll have quite a lot of stuff left over from this. So that'll probably just end up going in the freezer um, and I'll probably just end up eating a lot of this stuff into next week and maybe the week after that as well for the frozen stuff. So, yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. And the variety I've got is pretty decent, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm just going to pass it back now to present day Matty and he will continue from here. Take it away, boy. Thanks, Matty. So, I'm just in the house at the minute just waiting for the order to arrive. It should be arriving between 9.09 and 9.49 this morning. Which is an odd time I know, but that's just the slot I was given. Um, it's about nine o'clock now, so it shouldn't be far off. Hopefully it'll buzz soon. No, that was just a bus outside. Uh, and then we'll have our first meal, which is breakfast. So just to elaborate a little bit about um, what we'll be doing. So I'll be sticking to all the RDAs this week during the um, Smart Price Week. And I've already kind of made that up. So I've done a a chart, like a spreadsheet thing, which details all the different foods and everything that I'll be having. So I'll pretty much just be following that. I won't show you what it is just now because I want some of it to be a surprise, uh, just so I don't spoil it all at the beginning, you know? And yeah, so I'll put it up at the end of each video. I'll put up the day, um, all the different things that I've had, what the RDAs are, and we'll see what you guys think of it. So I'm curious to find out, you know, whether I'm going to be hungry this week because uh, I'm limiting myself to 2,000 calories and I usually eat a lot more than that because I am a, a big fella. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I think I've chosen meals that should be pretty filling and there's snacks and stuff in there as well. So hopefully it'll be decent and we'll, we'll just find out as it goes. And yeah, should be fun. 
For now though, let's uh, step on the scales, see how much I weigh at the minute, because I want to see if I lose any weight this week. I should do, because I'll be sticking to the RDAs. In fact, I'll probably end up being under them for pretty much every day, because of the way it works out. You'll, you'll see when I, when I post the details, and we'll talk about it at the end of each video anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's go find out what weight I am. I'm, I'm not looking forward to seeing this number at all. There they are, the dreaded scales. Let's see what I'm at then. Turn back on, you son of a bitch. Turn on. Fucking turn on. There we go. All right, let's go. Don't know if you can see that, but that's 288.8. Jesus, I am a fat fuck. But I've put on weight since the um, <laughs> since the vegan video, but about a stone, which is bad. So yeah, hopefully this will make us lose a bit of weight and maybe kickstart something. I think I should really go on a diet. Looking forward to the week. Should be fun. Um, well, it might not be fun, but it should be interesting anyway to see what it's like. Uh, I actually had a look online on when I was looking at the website while I was doing the you know order so there are some things that aren't as the smart price which are the same thing almost well about the same weight same equivalent thing um, but they're actually cheaper than the as the smart price stuff which kind of defies the purpose but uh, I bought all as a smart price stuff anyway so because uh, I wanted to stick to the theme uh, we're not just going with the cheapest thing, otherwise I probably could find cheaper stuff than as a smart price for some things. Um, and just to note as well that with the meals, I've set it up so I've got a breakfast, a lunch and a dinner, which is the way most normal people would work. But I don't tend to eat breakfast most days. Um, it's just not my thing really. I, I, just, I just like to get up and just go and do my stuff and not have breakfast and then just have lunch. Um, which I don't know if that's wrong to do, but uh, it's just the way I've always really been, really. Um, don't, not normally a breakfast person. I'll have breakfast today just because I am up early for this ASDA order, um, but most other days I might not have breakfast. I will still have the breakfast thing, but it just might not be during the day, or during the morning, I should say. I might like end up having lunch as soon as I get up, or maybe a couple of hours after I get up, and then have the breakfast as a snack. Um, but I'll mention that you know when I come to it and that might actually work out better for me because it'll mean I'll, I'll be less hungry during the day if I have my breakfast as a snack rather than just at breakfast time because that's just the way my mind works so but we'll see what happens and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for now I'll get back to you guys once the ASDA um, order arrives and we'll, we'll see what's what the ASDA man's here woo hooray feel sorry for the poor guy he's got a lug like 10 bottles of water up here. Okay, all the Asda stuff is here. Um, I feel kind of bad because the poor delivery driver had to drag all this shit up three flights of stairs. I suppose I shouldn't because it, it's his job, you know. I mean, he's getting paid to do it, so I shouldn't feel bad, but I still feel kind of kind of bad. But at least he had a dolly, so he, he was all right. But here you go, have a, have a wee look. There's all our stuff. There's some extra stuff there. That's not for the week. That's for a different video. But um, yeah, we've got all the water as well. Cause, like I said, no exceptions. Um, anything I drink is going to be as a smart price. No tap water. It'll all be as a smart price water. And if I run out of this stuff, I will have to go to Asda to get more because that's what I've got. Um, so yeah, let's uh, just get all this shit tidied up, packed away, and we'll have some breakfast. All right, everything's packed away. I thought it wouldn't fit in the freezer there, but I'm a Tetris master, so I managed to get that sorted out. So I'm gonna have breakfast, but first thing we're gonna have is some orange squash. Look at that. So it's less than 1% for pretty much everything, 1% um, for salt, 0 0.04 grams and four calories. So it's pretty much nothing. Um, Normally if I'm doing a diet, I don't count stuff like this because there's really no calories in it. It doesn't really affect your calories at all. And even if it does, it's so minuscule that no one would really notice. Now I will have a, a wee bit of this and I'll get the breakfast ready. Nothing special for breakfast, just something pretty simple. 
So there we are, got my juice. And this is my breakfast this morning. Future breakfasts will be a lot more substantial than this. Um, but I just wanted to have these for the breakfast today because I wanted to try them and see what they're like. Because I like a wee yogurt. So these are the fruit fromage fray. Not a lot of calories in these. Um, pretty small as well. Uh, it's really more of a snack than anything or just a finisher for a dinner, <laughs> I would say. But uh, yeah, they, they should be nice. Uh, they come in three flavours. You've got apricot raspberry and strawberry uh, so I've just booked in two for this morning so we're gonna have an apricot one and a raspberry one and see what they're like let me see if I can get the lid off here boom, 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 boom. Ugh, ugh. okay gotta do the customary um, lick of the lid hmm that's quite nice apricot -y. let's try this raspberry one uh, doing this with one hand is not easy. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, that's very nice. Very sweet. Very, very tasty. So, I'm going to munch these and I'll come back to you guys when I'm getting ready for lunch. Alright, it's lunchtime and I'm going to have something that I know that I'll enjoy because this is two things that I usually get from Asda anyway. So, can you guess what it's going to be? If you're afraid of beans, look away now. That's right, we're having baked beans and sausages in tomato sauce. And we're not having all of these, we're just going to have two of these sausage rolls. Um, that should be enough for lunch, I think. Uh, I like, I love these, man, the baked beans and sausages. I have these all the time. I already like these anyway. Um, not bad, not bad, you know, 214 calories per half a can. I'm just going to have the whole can, so that's be 200 and... Uh, 28 calories, sorry, 428 calories. Uh, so that'll be nice. I like them. I have them all the time. Quite frankly, Heinz can go fuck off because I prefer these like 100%. And these are quite nice. You know, I, I quite like, like these as sausage rolls. They're not as good as a Greg sausage roll, but they're all right. I'm not going to heat them up either. I'm just going to eat them cold, actually. I'm one of those weird people who actually prefers a cold sausage roll. So I have those. Um, the reason I'm only having two is because there's... 192 calories per sausage roll, which isn't too bad, really, but look at the saturated fat, 4.7 grams. At most, in any day, we can have 20 grams of saturated fat, so that's like 24% of our daily allowance. Um, and by the time we take into account dinner and everything else, this pretty much brings us to the edge. So I'm going to whack this in the microwave, um, not in the tin, obviously, put it in a bowl, whack it in the microwave, and... We shall chow down. Boom. Doesn't that look appetizing? Oh, let's do a wee glamour shot. I may have put some music over that. So, yeah, I know this doesn't look particularly amazing, you know, it's but this is, you know, lunch at home. When you make lunch at home, it never looks brilliant. And quite frankly, this looks good to me. Um, it's all brown and red. But quite frankly, I know that I'm going to enjoy this. The, the sausage rolls, I didn't see the point in putting them on a plate because I'm just going to dip them in the beans anyway. Um, so let me have a wee bite of the sausage roll. Mm. That makes me a happy matty, I have to say. I'm going to demolish this. I'll eat every last bit of this because I love this stuff. I love cheap shit. And, um, yeah, we'll catch up with you later on. So lunch was around about half twelve. It's now about quarter past three. And I'm starting to get a bit hungry again, but it's obviously too early for dinner. So I figure I'll have a wee snack. Uh, something to tie me over until dinner time. I'm thinking dinner probably around 6 or 7 o'clock. So hopefully that will see me through to the end of the night anyway. Because I don't really have room for anything else on my allowance today. So let's see what I've got for a snack. Yes, it's Jaffa Cakes. As the smart price Jaffa Cakes to be precise. So these are... Okay, I've had them before. Uh, they're not as good as like official McVitie's Jaffa Cakes. But as you can see, they are quite high in saturated fat. Each Jaffa Cake contains 5.6 grams of sugar as well. Um, so, 
yeah, let's, uh, boom. Already taken three of them out. I've budgeted for three. That's the most I can have today without going over my limit, so. Hmm. These aren't as good as I remember. But they're not as bad as you would expect. They're a bit... They're a bit naff. They're, um... Kind of crispy, the cake is, which it shouldn't really be. Mmm. Bit dry. The chocolate chocolate and the Jaffa stuff is nice, so... Oh, okay. That should tie me over till dinner time anyway. And then... Yeah. I've got something... I'll be honest, I've got some, something kind of boring for dinner, so... Uh, hopefully it's filling at least. I am the Jaffa man! <laughs> Okay, it's uh, just after half past five. I'm actually feeling kind of hungry already. Um, and I'm going out soon, so I want to just make sure and have something to eat before I go out, because obviously while I'm out, I can't eat anything unless restaurants have started serving smart price, in which case, why are they so damn expensive? <laughs> so, yeah, something that all kids will remember having when they were growing up and thought, hey, when I grow up, I'm not going to have these anymore. I'm going to have lobster instead, because I'll be rich. Yeah, sorry kids, it doesn't really work out that way. This is something that I have regularly because they're cheap and they are still nice. There you are, we're having Asda Smart Price breaded chicken nuggets. Of course, we're not going to have all 20 of these, as tempting as it is. I can only have eight before I hit my calories for this. So, eight of these bad boys. Alongside it, we're going to be having some Asda Smart Price chips, 250 grams, and then a reasonable portion of peas, 80 grams of peas. So, nothing spectacular. Of course, there's nothing really spectacular in the Asda Smart Price range anyway, but should be quite nice. All right, there it is, dinner time. So, got some chips, some peas, and eight chicken nuggets. And that there is 30 grams, exactly, of tomato ketchup, 30 milliliters. Um, that's as mo as much ketchup as I can have before I hit my calories. And that's me. Once I've eaten this, I can't have anything else for the rest of the day. So I might just have to have to fill up on uh, squash and see how we go. But uh, decent portion, so I'm quite happy with that. The only problem I'm having really is that with chips, you know, I would normally have salt and vinegar. Uh, I can have vinegar because this is as the smart price vinegar, I can have that, so those will go on there. Do, 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 do. Bit of vinegar. But yeah, I don't have any salt because I, I couldn't, I can't get as the smart price salt. I don't think they do that. Salt's salt, so I don't think they do a smart price version. But that's okay. Um, at least they didn't have it on the website. I'll try going down there and seeing what they've got. So yeah, let's um, let's try a wee nugget. I've had these before. They're they're okay. They're not. Mm. Yeah, they're all right. I've had better nuggets, but hey, they're cheap. They're cheerful. Happy with that. Chip. Tastes like a chip. And then peas are peas. We'll have some of those. So yeah, I'm going to nosh this. And then I'm heading out for a bit. So catch up with you guys at the end of the day and let you know how I'm feeling. See if I'm starving before I go to bed. Well, that about does it for day one on the Asda Smart Price Diet. Not too bad. I'm actually feeling a little bit hungry just now, but I'm probably dehydrated to be honest. I haven't actually drank that much today. So I'll probably have a big swig of water before I go to sleep and undoubtedly wake up in about four hours and needed to pee like a racehorse. So we'll see. Anyway, um, breakfast was okay. Took like two seconds to eat them because it was two tiny little petty flues. But the rest of the week, we've actually got a bit more substance for our breakfast. Um, lunch was the sausage rolls and beans, which I really enjoyed. I always like that kind of stuff anyway. That's the sort of stuff I buy outside of a smart price week anyway. And then dinner was the chicken nuggets with the chips and the peas, which were fine. 
and the tomato ketchup is quite good. Yeah, it's actually doesn't taste bad. It's actually really nice ketchup for the um, smart price stuff. So yeah, worked out okay. Filling enough. Um, and I had those three Jaffa cakes through the day as well. So um, I think today the problem. Well, I, I'm still a little bit hungry, and I think the problem was just that I used up all my saturated fats really quickly. Um, all my calories are full as well, pretty much. So those will appear on your screen right now. Uh, for all the different things that I ate, um, saturated fats, sugars, all that stuff. Uh, so check that out if you want to see what I had. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for today. So remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you can see notifications when the next video comes out. So these are going to be one a day for eight days. Uh, this is obviously day one. So there'll be seven days of as a smart price and then day eight will be like a retrospective so we'll, we'll go over how I felt the week went and stuff like that so tune in for day two tomorrow should be fun um basically I'm trying to vary the range as much as possible so it'll be pretty much completely new stuff tomorrow completely different from what I've had today so yeah should be good hopefully I will see you guys then I'm going to go to sleep I will catch you in the morning cheers